Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to episode number 32 of my Slasher Movie Archives. In this video, I will be giving my review for My Bloody Birthday, also known as Clownery, originally released in 2020. He's ready to give you a slice. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one, after a traumatic childhood birthday party, Emma chose to never celebrate it again, but on her 21st birthday, her best friend breaks the rules and throws a party, unaware of the awakening horrors which, for years, have been waiting in the darkness. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. Going into My Bloody Birthday, I didn't know anything about it other than it was a clown movie centered around a birthday theme. And considering my birthday is coming up, I thought it would be the perfect time to watch and review this movie. And I have to say that it did not disappoint. This movie came as a pleasant surprise. I was mostly surprised to discover that this is actually a Italian film, which explains a lot. To me, Italian films have a unique style. There's definitely a lot going on with the storyline for this one. It can be a little confusing and a little hard to follow at times. It keeps you on your toes and guessing what the hell's actually going on. And I really like that. There is also a very sleazy element to the storyline. And that's not going to be a surprise to anybody who is familiar with Italian cinema. I also really like the score for this movie. It has a perfect blend for what you would want out of an Italian film and a clown movie. It was a nice mixture. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the characters we have in My Bloody Birthday. Emma is the main character to this movie storyline. Emma has chose to live her life without celebrating her birthday. And damn, I can't blame her. When she was very young, she had a birthday party and there were two clown entertainers. It goes horribly wrong. Emma witnesses a scene that will traumatize her for the rest of her life. We get several flashback scenes of Emma's childhood birthday party throughout this movie. We also have Allison, who is Emma's best friend. Allison knows that Emma is a bit of an outcast and struggles to fit in. Allison wants to do something nice for her friend's 21st birthday and decides to throw Emma a party to celebrate. Allison is trying very hard and wants to show Emma a good time, going as far as buying drugs from the school's creepy janitor and having to reach down a nasty toilet to retrieve the drugs. But of course, all of this doesn't sit well with Emma because she doesn't want a party. Emma begins to hallucinate and see the two clowns from her childhood birthday party. This gives the movie that unique style that I had mentioned before. It almost feels dreamlike. It keeps you guessing and wondering if these hallucinations are actually happening or if it's all in Emma's head. It's a very interesting setup. Emma's father also plays an important part in the movie storyline, and we also have Emma's classmates. There's a lot of people who bully and make fun of Emma because she is a pretty awkward person. Overall, I really enjoyed the characters we have in My Bloody Birthday. The acting is pretty much what I expected for a Italian film. At times, the dialogue in this movie can be cringeworthy, but I didn't go into this movie expecting award-winning acting. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. I absolutely love the setup for the villain in this movie. I have always enjoyed slasher movies with killer clowns. This one feels quite a bit different from any of the other ones that I have seen, so that's a good thing. The two clowns in this movie are pretty typical looking and about what you would expect to see, but it's the way that they are used that really stands out. And as far as the kills go, the movie has a fairly high body count, especially if you include in the things Emma's seeing during her hallucinations. 
For example, she simply sees a girl laying dead on the floor with a bloody clown face. And a scene that feels completely random is when Emma sees a clown munching on the intestines of a random dead person. This scene feels pretty odd, but it also explains the dreamlike quality the movie sometimes has. Most of the kills in this movie do consist of stabbings. Some of the kills are off screen and we also have cutaway kills. We do have a throat getting cut. We have two girls who are suffocated with both of their heads in the same bag. So that's pretty creative for a suffocation kill. But for the most part, this is pretty standard slasher movie stuff. Overall, I really enjoyed My Bloody Birthday. I thought it was a pleasant surprise. I did like the way the story kept me guessing, and it has a nice twist at the end. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Like I said before, some of the dialogue can be cringeworthy, but overall, I had fun with it. IMDb give My Bloody Birthday a 3.2. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Remember, Evil never dies, it just rests a while. It watches, it waits. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen My Bloody Birthday, or just let me know what you think about my review. And as always, I would like to thank you all for watching.